Last time on Shop Hustle, we were working on the SRX, where we completely rebuilt the front end with new bushings and heim joints, and we even replaced all the suspension arms. But we need to finish that job with an alignment. Just like on a car, whenever you make major changes to the front of your suspension, the work isn't complete without an alignment. Start this job by leveling the machine side to side with shims under the skis. From there, you can check the angle of the spindle. On this SRX, the upper and lower radius rods are adjustable at the heim joint in the center of the chassis. Now by threading them in or out, you should be able to set the spindle to vertical or better yet around 2 degrees tipped in at the top to add a bit of camber. Most A-arm suspensions have an adjustable rod on the upper arm, which is there for adjusting camber as well. So with the camber set, it's time to turn to the steering. And to do that, to set it best, you want a little bit of toe out, but measure off the carbides. Now to do that, I found these C-channels years ago, which I find are the perfect thing to fit underneath the carbide, and then they're also a great spot to measure from. You should never measure off the skis. These channels make it easy to check toe if you just want to verify it's still good. Taking a big hit on the front end can knock this toe setting out of whack, so even without doing a major repair, the toe is something to check from time to time, especially if you notice a big change in how your sled is tracking down the trail. Now because I replaced so much on the front of the suspension of this SRX, I've kind of lost the center line of the chassis, so in order to find it again, I've straightened up the handlebars so they're completely straight across the chassis, and now I'm going to set from essentially a center line, this aluminum bar here, which I have lined up on the track at the back, and I'll set my toe from there. Looking for 1 8 total toe out, I'll measure at the front of the ski and the back of the ski to that aluminum bar, but I'm looking for the front of the ski to be 1 16th out or so, and that'll give me my 1 8 total when I transfer it to that side. I'm setting this machine at a conservative 1 8 of an inch, but you can increase this number to even a quarter inch or so if you'd like. On this SRX, I'm still dealing with some play in the connection from the spindle to ski area, which is the reason for my 1 8 target. On a tighter sled, i definitely shoot for something closer to 1 quarter inch toe out. Checking or changing this toe can definitely have an effect on how easily the sled turns or is a possible solution to help calm down a darting machine. Just remember, whenever you loosen up a tie rod jam nut, to make sure that you tighten it before you hit the trail again. So don't think an alignment is something you can do by your eye. I tried that, I was only out an inch and a half. A tape measure is a way better way to go. So on this SRX I've only got one job left, and that has to do with the odometer. Right now it says 18,581 kilometers. My next job is to get that thing to say over 19,000 K but that may have to happen on a run stand outside the garage. <laughs> 